was art that brought peace. It was art that, ah, that got me out of a lot of stuff. Um, and I always came back to it every time I, every time I find myself trailing off or concentrate on the adult life. Okay, well, you know, let me just focus on my career in the corporate world. Let me, you know, do this whole marketing thing and work on my marketing resume. It, I felt empty for real. Like, I, I felt like this is not it. This is not it. And then when I go back to art, and it was like, okay. <laughs> and then that's when all these other doors open. But then, again, bills come in and all that other stuff. And, I, uh, and it, I'm back to art again. So, I feel like God is this simple phrase is the constant motif that guides the work of visual artist and designer Tracy Gitto. As a child, Gitto says she was a fighter in every sense of the word. Her fight for love, faith, purpose, and art continues as she paints her way through life. Tracy Gitto is a fighter in all things. Um, Yeah, a fighter in all things. Uh, that's all I can really say. I mean, in the beginning, I used to fight a lot until, and I hated my name until, and when was it? High school. That's when I, I was like, oh, everybody had definitions. I'm like, Are your your name actually means something. So then that's when I read it, and it said boxer slash fighter. I'm like, that explains why I was always fighting and school, but it, I was fighting for another reason. I had a lot of people bullying me because I was Haitian. So I always like bring that up, like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm Haitian, now what? <laughs> I would always like want to fight. Um, fighting in that sense, always trying to stand up, you know, stand up for my culture and my family. I was very protective over them. Um, and I was fighting My form, like, I also had this need to know God more and, and fighting for that too. And I, I had a lot of people then it, with the whole Haitian stuff and family and, and friends and just people in general where they would try to uh, put me down as far as my worth and whatever. And there was like verses that I would read, you know, I am worthy, you know, because. He's my daddy, you know, so it was fighting for that too. So, fighter in all sense, still fighting. <laughs> I've had um, a lot of people that would say that, you know, my art <laughs> would be a waste of time. Being Haitian is, is uh, kind of tough because they, Success to them would be, okay, go for nursing if you're a lawyer or a doctor. But because I wasn't that, they had a bit of an issue with that. Um, but I didn't, as stubborn as I am, I didn't want to listen to that because I know, I know, I know, I know that God didn't give me this talent for no reason. And it, it took time for me to say talent, you know, so it's like, whatever. I went through, I went back to art, and that was the only thing that kept me going and kept me sane, for real. So I know there is a reason on why he gave it to me, and I just have to keep on being persistent. So it's just ignoring all that and being more focused and uh, working more towards my goal. It was elementary school. I did not contemplate. Every academic class, I did not care. Every academic book had a drawing in it. Every homework assignment was a drawing. Math, English, it didn't matter. Science, it didn't matter. Um, and that's when my uh, art teacher at that time approached my mom about the magnet art program. And I didn't know what it was. It was just like, whatever. As long as I could get out of the school, I was cool. I went to Bunch Park elementary, which was very bad at school. I was always fighting. And then when I got switched over and into the audition, 
there was a shift. I don't know what it was, but I was like, I want to be here. So after convincing my mom that she didn't have to pay, because <laughs> she's like, ah, they always want to charge you for something. This thing ain't free. So when I finally got into it, um, that's when the professor, I thought, okay, I do this art, but I can have my old ways as far as like fighting and getting into trouble and all that other stuff. And she was like, no, nope, you can't do that. You know, in order to stay in a magnet art program, you have to improve your grades and you have to stop fighting. And that's all she had to say. That's all she had to say. It was like 360 times 10 for real. People that knew me back in New York was just like, that's not the same Tracy I knew. Just off of art. And ever since then, it's been like art, 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 art. Even after college, I was like, okay, keep on going. Even being in the corporate world, I'm like, keep on going. So, but it was just something that I was just so like stuck in. Because even when I was in elementary school, like um, I would be up five, six in the morning, and my mom um, would always thought, <laughs> would always think I'm about to run out the house or something with these little baby kids in the area, Opalaka. And um, she would see me in my sketchbook, and I would not be, I could not sleep unless I had something out on the page, whatever was in my mind out there, because again, I wasn't able to. I didn't know how to really express myself verbally, and expressing yourself verbally was a, a verbally in a sense like if you're sad or whatever was a sign of weakness in the house, and I was the oldest, so they would constantly be like, oh, you know, you're not a kid anymore. So art was it. So that's where I I knew there was something with art. I didn't know what it was, but I had to keep on going with it. Most of my paintings are human figures, but then it was journaling too. So I would journal and then I will cover it. And that was my way of like releasing whatever's in my head or trying to play with the viewer. Because although it was a sketchbook, there was no privacy in the Haitian home at all. There was no such thing as diaries. So <laughs> I would write and then I'll paint over and then the painting would either reflect what I was writing about or it would contradict it just to you know, brush you off. Um, but it was more human figures and then other things would start adding on. But it, it wouldn't make sense to me then, it would make sense later where God would be like, okay, go back to this page, okay. This is what you need to learn and this is what you need to know you know, at that moment, or, um, so yeah. From the beginning, I was kind of like pissed off at them, because I was like, why can't you be like them, and that parent, and that parent, and that parent. But then I had to learn that, again, they were raised that way, that was what they were taught. A lot of people, when you are fed the same lines over and over and over and over again, that's their reality. This whole art thing, I don't have a successful art person in my family that I can, like, you know, go to and be like, okay, I have that person as an example. But I've seen crazier things <laughs> in my mind if I had like what was it the uh, cup holder when the when the coffee's hot that little the little uh, cardboard car, cardboard sheet that they put around the coffee if my friend were to come to me right now and be like Tracy you know I have this idea da, 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 I'm passionate about this cardboard cup to put around the coffee I look at them crazy but guess what that person that invented that is set the kids, the kids, 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 kids with Starbucks and all those other coffee shops, they're set. So why is my any different? I can't, you know, that's what they were taught. They were taught the whole go to school, get a degree. After that, then, you know, you get a good job and you're set. But 
it's not how life has played out for me. But I know that every time I focus on what God has placed in my mind constantly, he, he places things in my head for a reason. I never would know. But when he plays something in there, it's, it's for, I'm getting chills right now. It's for something. Like, I didn't know. I was like, you know what? I can just do this interview. Although I don't like sitting in front of the camera because I feel like a million eyeballs are just like in my face right now. But there's, it, there's so many things that I was like, okay, well, it's towards what he's given me. If I'm focused on what he's giving me, later on down the line, which happened many times with art, I'm focusing on his gift towards me, something else unfolds. It opens up another door. It opens up another door. Freedom of expression. Just you do you. That's none of that. Oh, you know, like the highlights are supposed to be here and the shadow. It's you. That's you, and whatever flows out of you, that's your art. No restrictions. of choice right now is acrylic because the technique that I use I need it to um, dry fast um, I used to do oil but then some artist told me that he almost going blind right now because of the fumes and chemicals I'm like I'm good I no, I still need to see who I end up marrying um, I'm concerned about the future of my children so that um, and then if it was one thing that I would do right now I love 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 sculpture love everything but I'll end up with crusty hands but I love sculpture but it's like this you need a kiln and all this other stuff and I don't really have the funds right now to do that I can't stand it because um, again that was the notion of my family and friends and all that other stuff like why are you pursuing this so, so hard you're gonna, you know starving artists starving like no if I claim it if I said oh yes you know I'm a star no 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 that I am alone I've learned is very very whatever follows that is very important so if I keep on saying I am a starving no 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 I am rich <laughs> you know like no I don't it's it's kind of annoying because I've had a couple of people that be like oh you must be no I'm not I have a roof on my head I got my car I got it you know like I, I'm able to pay my bills I'm set I can go to the store right now and order me some griot without even thinking. Later on it'll be two plates of griot. <laughs> but no. That was like a thing back then where they, they thought it was cool, you know. Like they they used that to I guess sell sell more. Like oh when they see a starving artist then that's when they got more buyers. But nowadays not the more weird you are, you know, that's I guess that was like their brand or something, but I'm not claiming that. Chatter again? I'm gonna be <laughs> just international artist for real. That's what I've been working on is being international. I don't want to be known as no Florida artist. No, I want to be international. So yeah, so I'm trying to hit up some states. Canada, you know, I'm dying to have a show in Haiti. I don't feel Haitian enough. I need to have a show there. Um, yeah, just sitting up out of the U.S. Awesome. To learn more about Tracy Ghetto and to purchase her art, visit www.tracyghetto.com.